This is a historic park. It's been used by the people for now 103 years and it's, it was bought for the people by a council. It's very excited because this is our second stage of development and an extremely important second stage. As excited as we were to get and as honoured, it's a coup to actually be asked to be custodians of a rare historic set of roses. That's, that's an amazing coup to start with, but then the enormity of the amount of money we need to raise, probably in total about 500,000. So to get this 230 like this is, is massive. So we take this as a complete coup for us, you know, even though we had nothing to, to do by approaching people, but they approached us and we said, yes, please, we're only too pleased. Of course, now we've got to work to find an area that is suitable for them to go in. As Queensland State Rose Garden, this completes that perfectly. But Australia-wise and world-wise, we're not far from being um, in the category that we could well be one day known as, as a world garden of significance. Now that's enough to make us all want to work a lot harder and, and get all these um, varieties living within this garden. It's a collection of roses and some of them date back to the very first settlers in Australia because they came here um, in sailing ships, go on into the garden and say, oh, I've got to take something to remind me of home. And they all they did was shove it in a potato because that kept the moisture up to that cutting all the way from England to Australia. We are very proud of our, our garden here because it is, after all, the Queensland State Rose Gardens. It's not in the capital of the, of the state, but it is, we think it is the best rose garden in Queensland. So therefore, it is known as the Queensland State Rose Garden. <laughs>